This is an oral contraceptive containing a mix of estrogen and progestogen, known more commonly as the pill. The first medical drug made specifically to treat people who aren't sick. Certainly in the 60s, it was incredibly liberating to have the pill. The pill completely changed women's ability to pursue whatever their dreams were. Younger women are tossed on birth control like candy. When the pill is suppressing the hormone that induces the ovulation, it is also suppressing the person emotionally. And do you remember having any side effects? Immediately I felt myself emotionally becoming really irrational, almost like manic at times. One doctor put Erica's x-ray of her lungs up on the screen and said, this was caused by the Nuva ring. Our daughter, our 20-year-old daughter, was brain dead. We just don't want this to happen to, you know, any more families than it has. It's your choice what you choose to take, but you need to make an informed choice. Losing a child is something that we don't want anybody else to experience. As clear as a bell, I remember the day she got in the car and she said she put me on birth control pills. And she said, and this is gonna be great because not only is this protection against pregnancy, but this is a new pill and it's gonna prevent PMS and it's gonna help with my acne. This was to her, as she have even said in her own words, the miracle pill. More recently, they developed these newer progestins. I'm not a gynecologist and I'm not a businessman, so I don't know why. The only important thing to know is that it would appear that these drugs have a greater tendency to cause clotting. The doctor came in and he said, your lungs are filled with huge clots. And right when they were getting ready to take me up to the ICU, he asked me, are you on birth control? And I said, yes, I am. He says, what are you taking? I'm like, I'm on Yaz. And he goes, well, the good news is, is that you're here. The bad news is, is that the majority of people who have this don't make it to the ER. She was taken by ambulance and had multiple heart attacks on her way to the emergency room and, and in the emergency room. So I was able to talk to the emergency room doctor and he asked if she was on birth control and I said, yes, the Nuva ring. And he said, I believe that's the problem. We arrived the next morning, saw her, her eyes blinking. We uh, first thought that was, oh my gosh, she's gonna be okay. But that was, that was, uh, that was caused by the brain basically shutting down. Here goes Brittany. Hi, show me a trick. We just kind of got ready in her bedroom and we went out to a club. And I remember when we first walked in, she said how loud it was. She said it was mm -hmm. so loud. And then, like, say I have a big dance floor and, like, we all love to dance and she's like, I don't feel like dancing. And I just thought it was really weird because, you know, we've always gone out to dance. Yeah. She was telling you that she felt like her heart was so racing, like, yeah, really fast. And then all of a sudden her eyes kind of roll back and she just... And when we got to the hospital, you know, I kept saying no medications and my mom's like, well, yeah, she's on medication. She's on birth control. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even think about that. When you think about using, a, a, you know, a pharmaceutical intervention for a healthy population, it's easy to forget that this is a medical treatment, an intervention rife with potential side effects and risks. When I was buying these magazines, I would buy, you know, all of them. Of course, the checker would ask me, are you in it? Why are you buying it? I'd just tell him my daughter died because of this birth control. 
I show them the article and one checker actually the very first day that I bought it um, said that she has this she just started taking it about a month ago and she said she has some pain in right on the top of her thigh so I told her she needs to go in right now I handed her the magazine Thousands of lawsuits and the product's still on the market. I'm told that I should file a, a report with the FDA and they said, unfortunately, we don't have much funding. We don't have enough funding to respond to all of these. I said, but my daughter died. She died because of this product. I'm not anti-government or anti-FDA, but when I found this out, I was just, what do you do? If your daughter died as a result of pulmonary embolisms, stroke, or heart attack because of the NuvaRing, would you still consider this drug as having an acceptable risk factor? We feel that the drug has been labeled, uh, it was labeled appropriately. Here's the warning. Thrombo thromb thromboletic disorders and other vascular problems. Thevo, I can't even understand this. This needs to have a big old label right on the front. Like cigarettes say, this can kill you. This needs to say the same thing. Are you currently on the pill or any hormonal birth control? Nuvarang. Nuvarang. And what's your experience been like on it? Um, I feel really, really good on it. I really like it. There is a lot of stuff out right now, though, that makes me concerned about being on it. So, I don't know. I mean, I, it's kind of like you pick your poison. If you had a room full of 10,000 women and you told them that you had this nice product that you could insert for three weeks and take out for a week, you didn't have to uh, worry about taking a pill. But a few of you in this room are going to die because of this. I wonder how many of the women would actually use that product if they knew there were safer alternatives out there. The drug companies push the statistic that says these types of drugs are safer than pregnancy. The counterfactual here, what would have happened in the absence of the treatment, the drug companies use pregnancy. What they ought to be using is, the comparison is between these types of drugs and other forms of birth control. Our daughter was really strong, and our whole goal is in her honor to inform women of these dangers. If she knew what we now know, she would be right here doing this because she would be incensed at what's going on at the expense of women's health.